So you have been the lead on a product called Sarah Alert. Can you tell us what that is and who the audience is? Sure. So Sarah Alert is um, it's actually something we began talking about myself and some of the epidemiologists last summer, uh, not knowing this was a coming along, but knowing this is a tool that was needed. Mm -hmm. um, and in the interest of helping respond rapidly, and I think it was Henry Kissinger who said, never let a good crisis go to waste, we said now's the time. So this will allow public health to when people come into the country with a risk or if they're identified in the community with an exposure to allow people to be monitored at home while they're in quarantine by reporting in once or twice daily. Do they have any symptoms? Do they have a fever? And public health can then manage them based upon their reports. Tell us why MITRE is uniquely qualified to not just develop this tool, but work collaboratively with government on solving this yeah. complex health, public health problem. Yeah, so there's there's a few things that made the time right. One of the issues is the, is the governmental system itself in which there are multiple federal agencies, state agencies, local agencies. The constitution gives the police powers of public health to the states, yet the funding comes to the federal government. So there is no, if you will, command and control. So here comes MITRE, who as an operator of FFRDCs, as a nonprofit, who has resources internally to do research and development on behalf of our sponsors and the public good. So wow, there's a source of potential money. The money alone won't do it though. We at MITRE have excellent uh, public health. We have Myself and Greg Payne, former state and DC public health uh, commissioners. We have great EPIs from the state and local levels. Um, and we have a slew of other scientists who may not think of themselves as public health, but they have expertise we need. And then incredible software engineering and incredible developers. We are turning this over and having it hosted um, on what's called the Ames platform, the uh, premier public health platform on the Amazon cloud. And then we are going to give this to a public health organization to say, this is a national asset. You run it. It's yours now. We'll help you if you need it, but it's yours. Um, no one else but MITRE could do that. Mm -hmm.